Good morning. It's Friday. Time for Friday Devotions. I got a question for you. What do you call a fox with two carrots in its ears? What do you call a fox with two carrots in its ears? It doesn't matter. He can't hear you anyway. Did you hear about the cowboy that lost his favorite Bible while he was mending fences one day? Three weeks later, a fox walked up to him with the Bible in its mouth. The cowboy couldn't believe his eyes. He took the book and he said, It's a miracle. The fox said, Not really. Your name is written on the inside cover. There was a guy who brought a fox into the church service and sat on the front row with it. And then he opened this huge bag of candy and started eating the candy. He would have a piece and then he'd give a piece to the fox. And this went back and forth for quite a while in the service until finally the fox had a piece of candy and started to choke and it looked like the fox died. He choked so hard that he just expired right there. Well, the guy looked at the, at the fox, grabbed his stuff, got up and started to walk out of the church. When the pastor all of a sudden shouted and he said, hey, you can't leave that thing lying there. The guy turned around, looked at the pastor. He said, that's not a lion, that's a fox. Hope you guys are going to have an awesome Friday. Now let's talk a little bit about our Bible verse today. The Bible verse is found in Matthew 8 and verse 20, which is this. Jesus said, foxes have dens and birds have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. Now the reason Jesus said this is because the Bible says just before this instance, when he made this reply, he had been healing people. He had been doing miracles throughout the first several chapters uh, leading up to this. And the Bible says that a teacher of the law came to him, seeing everything that he was doing and thinking, wow, this is fantastic. This guy, he, he's really got something going on. He's healing all these people. There's these huge crowds around. Everybody's crowding in. This is great. I'm going to be a part of this. So he comes to Jesus and says, hey, whatever you do, I'm going to follow you wherever you go. Jesus looked at him and he said, listen, we don't have a hotel room tonight. There's no Holiday Inn. There's no Hilton. Foxes have holes and birds have nests, but the Son of Man has no place to lay his head. In other words, what he was saying was that this isn't easy. This is not just a, a, a big show. How many times in life have people seen something like rock stars on stage, right? Their favorite band or group, or they, they even see a preacher. They see anybody who gets up in public and draws the attention of people and they say, hey, I want to do that. I want to do that. I want to be that. But Jesus is reminding this teacher of the law, this is not easy. We don't even have a place to sleep. We don't, we don't, we don't even know what's going to happen the next day. Of course, Jesus, he knows the beginning from the end because he was God. But the point is that following Christ is not always a bowl of cherries, right? It's not. There is a price to pay. The Bible says, die to yourselves daily. Now, my shirt reads backwards. And let me just mention that because everything I do is backwards on this phone when I'm looking at it. But this is our Harvest Church t-shirt that I'm wearing that I, that I like to wear on Fridays. Anyway, so here's the deal. When we follow Jesus, sometimes it's hard. It's not just as easy as saying, hey, you're drawing big crowds. I think I want to do what you're doing. Jesus said, this, this is not easy to follow me. So it can be difficult, but we've got to hang in there. Now, about being serious, you know, our spirituality, we should take deadly serious. But the rest of life, we shouldn't take so serious. So my encouragement to you today is to do something fun, Go someplace with your family or friends. Do something you haven't done. Just relax. Don't yell at the kids today. Don't yell at your spouse. Just relax today. Just take it easy. Take a deep breath. Life's not too serious. Your spirituality is very serious. Everything else, take it with a grain of salt, all right? 
Thank you for being with me. Now let's see who's watching. If we can read this list real quick. Don, Charlotte, Michelle, uh, Charlotte, Karen, Maria, Lucy, Kim. Let's see. Terry, Mo, my daughter Brittany, Patty, Terry and Jan Duff. Connie, my daughter Tiffany, Jan, Kim, Katrina, Charlotte. I know I can't see you all, but I try to. All right, well, that's it for today, except for the last thing, which is what? It's my socks, right? Let me turn the camera around and show you today's socks, because it's Friday. Come on, camera. There, they're foxes. All right, sorry about that. Have an awesome day. Thanks for tuning in.